Welcome to the Nokia Optical Networking Learning Essentials video series from the Nokia Optical Network Certification Program, an end-to-end -end learning program supporting Nokia 1830, PSS, VWM, and NFMT-based networks. Today, we'll look at Nokia NFMT Regenerated Service Provisioning. This video has been created based on the Nokia Optical Network Management with NFMT course. In this video, we'll see how to use NFMT, the Nokia Optical Network Management System, to provision a regenerated service over a managed plane network. NFMT is the Nokia Optical Network Management System and is focused on the 1830 equipment family, even though it can support other network element types. NFM stands for Network Function Manager while T stands for transport. 1830 PSS equipment can operate in multiple optical network segments, from the customer's premises to the core. These nodes can transport several transport technologies, such as IP, SDH, Ethernet, and so on, over a common optical transport network, or OTN, infrastructure in a wavelength multiplexing technology. The managed plane network we are using to deploy a regenerated service is composed of three nodes in a linear topology. Managed plane means that GMPLS has not been activated. In other words, the network will not automatically look for an alternative route in case of failure. Regenerated means that, at a certain point, the optical signal is re-amplified, reshaped, and re-timed, the so-called 3R regeneration to extend the optical reach between the two endpoints. A 10 GBE service is terminated onto a pair of input-output, or I.O. cards, equipped in the PSS 24X shelves that terminate the service. The signal passes through the photonic shelves across the 4UC400 uplink cards. The middle node is used for signal regeneration and is made of a PSS 32 shelf only. Prior to the service deployment, it is necessary to create the OTN optical infrastructure that will support the service to be created. This means that we need to provision the physical connectivity between electrical and photonic nodes or between PSS 24X and PSS 32 shelves, and then create the ODU4 regenerated infrastructure. Let's follow the implementation steps shown here. The first step requires the creation of the OPS uplink connection between the PSS 24X and PSS 32 shelves. This operation is carried out via an application called Equipment Manager available in NFMT. Open the Equipment Manager. Look for one of the two termination nodes. Then, select the PSS 24X shelf and the line port of the 4UC400 uplink card. Move to the Add Drop Block SFD, of the PSS32 photonic node and select the frequency. Create the bidirectional OPS. The same OPS has been already created on the other termination node for simplicity. The second step requires the creation of a trail. During the trail creation, we will include the regeneration section. This is necessary as the trail and not the service directly gets regenerated. Check that the regeneration section on the intermediate node is correctly configured. Look for the middle node of the Equipment Manager. This will be used in our exercise for signal regeneration. In our scenario, two S13X100 cards plugged into the intermediate node have been configured for regeneration. Move to the Deploy menu, New Service Infrastructure Connection, and select the template Infrastructure Trail Unprotected ODUK. Select ODU4 and flag the Logical Link checkbox. This operation is necessary because the ODU4 is terminated on a PSS 24X shelf that hosts a matrix. Fill the template with termination nodes and related ports and provide the ODU4 label. Then, move to the Routing Constraint section to enable the 3R. 
In Advanced Settings, select Manual in the Routing field and fill the Routing Constraints tab by entering the node that has the regeneration infrastructure enabled. Include the constraints by selecting the pair of line ports where the regeneration is active. Now, add the OTSs belonging to the infrastructure route as routing constraints. Finally, deploy the infrastructure. Wait for a few seconds, and a green arrow will confirm that all necessary steps have been successfully completed. Click now on Show New Connections to view the provisioned entries. This way, we can verify the routing display of the trail. Note that the infrastructure includes a 3R regeneration. When the ODUK infrastructure has been created, it is possible to create a service over it. In case of Ethernet services, the Ethernet full rate 10 GBE template can be used. Open the Deploy New Service Infrastructure Connection menu. Select the Service Ethernet Unprotected Full Rate 10 GB Ethernet template and enter the nodes terminating the service. Then, specify the client ports of the I.O. cards plugged into the PSS 24X shelves, 30AN300 in our example. Type in the service name and then move to the Advanced Settings section. Here, it's important to flag the Auto Server Creation checkbox to have NFMT create the needed support ODU2E OTN infrastructure that will contain the 10 GBE service. Finally, deploy the service. Once the creation is completed, click on Show New Connections to view the provisioned entities. A service and its supporting infrastructure are shown. Verify the routing display. Today, we have seen how to deploy a 10 GBE service over a regenerated ODU4 infrastructure using the templates provided by NFMT. The steps require the provisioning of the needed OPS uplinks and the creation of a trail that includes the 3R section. On top of this trail, the service can be created. Thanks for watching and look for more videos in our Optical Networking Learning Essentials series. Whether your goal is to enhance your optical networking skills or demonstrate your expertise through one of our four industry-recognized certifications, the Optical Network Certification Program is here to get you, your career, and your organization on the right path. Our program features nine instructor-led courses developed by our team of subject matter experts using industry best practices, use case-driven examples, and hands-on labs. Learn more and get started today by visiting our website. Thank you.